welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you for clicking onto this video I hope you click that subscribe button as well so I haven't one, done one of these in a very long time and that is a testing makeup products because I am not a beauty guru I have no idea how to do makeup and as you can see by this face it's clear I'm not a beauty guru <laughs> primer makeup is seriously affordable so I was like okay let's just try these out because who knows and don't get me wrong I now have a new favorite in my life if you can see from this face I have also got some very very not happy products where was I going with that products I will not be using again basically so if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look and attempt it better than I did <laughs> then please carry on watching of course I would pick the day to do a makeup tutorial video testing thingy whatever this is the day I break out the most but it's okay so the first product I am going to use is this glow iridescent primer basically and it was four pound I'll just be honest I was just obsessed with the bottle like look at that how could I not buy it and it's got the little Propeller? Papel is that what it's called? No, it's not called a propeller. That's like on a plane, isn't it? Or boat. It smells really nice. It smells really sweet. It's dripping! Looks like I've been crying. Okay, and I guess I'm just gonna just rub it in. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. Don't know if I'm doing it right. I feel like it's done a slight glow, but that's about it. Like, it hasn't done anything to my pores. It doesn't feel sticky or anything, no. It's dried quite quickly. Onto foundation. Okay, so there was literally about four colour range choice in the foundation. I don't know if that was just the Primark I went to. I went to the one in Blue Water. Yeah, there was just not a good choice of range. So I have no idea if this is going to work on me. So I got the Double Coverage Matte Foundation Long Wear Matte Finish Oil Free. It has SPS 15 and it was £5 and I got the shade called Sand. I hate that it's a pory thing like... I'd ra much rather like a pump because otherwise it's going to get messy. I can see you. Come on. Oh, it feels really thick. Oh, dear. oh God. Oh, dear God. So I'm just going to just like pop this around my uh, face and then blend it in. <laughs> Because I'm literally just getting foundation in my hair. Okay, so that is one layer. A little bit too pale for me. But, I mean, it's not atrocious. Like, I just got to put some bronzer and, like, bring some colour into my life. Into my face. At the moment, I would say it's not really got much coverage. So I'm going to put, I prefer more of a like a full coverage where I go to put on makeup. So I'm going to put on another layer and see how that goes. Okay, so that is a second layer now done. I definitely now say it's more like a full coverage, like medium to full now. But it blended easily. It's not a bad foundation. It's just a shame that there wasn't much more of a colour range. Now onto concealer. I got the liquid concealer. Concealer? <laughs> liquid concealer. Concealer. That is concealer. No, I have no idea how to say the word now. Um, medium coverage. This was £2 and I got the shade Porcelain. It says it's got vitamin E and aloe vera in it. It is quite thick. It's like quite hard, I'll be honest, to like spread. Just perhaps up now. To kind of spread. I don't know if that's just due to the foundation underneath or if it's just this product. Very like thickish that it doesn't want to move. <laughs> quite hard to put onto my skin it wasn't that hard to blend out however coming to the actual concealing part I have got kind of slight of like a black eye I have no idea where it came from but just like one section of my eye is like black I can still see it so it hasn't concealed that much to be fair um not really a fan of the concealer Okay, I desperately now need to definitely put colour. So I got the foundation and contour stick. This was £2.50. I got in the shade Caramel. Again, there wasn't much choice. There was literally only like 
two dark shades one was like really really dark and this one was more like a tanned i thought i'd go for the light one because i wasn't tanning today i just thought the dark one would just look way too dark on my skin it's a shame that there wasn't again not much color choices and i couldn't really see much product for contouring yeah. look oh no i just dropped it i just smushed it into my carpet uh, i just feel like it's probably gonna be a bit too light so i'm gonna probably use this more as like a bronzer <laughs> I'm not really a fan. Okay, so that is the contour now blended in. Uh, it's definitely too warm time to be a contour. It's kind of more of a bronzer now. Doesn't look as bad in person than it is, does on the camera. However, I did find it not the easiest to blend. I've just had easier products. Unfortunately, for the life of me, I could not find a powder. I looked everywhere, couldn't find one. So I'm just gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte one. For bronzer, I got the Broughton's Glow Illuminating Bronzing Powder. This was £2 and I got it in the shade Sinful. Obviously it's illuminating bronzer, so it is a shimmer bronzer. So keep that in mind in case you like matte bronzers. I don't know how pigmented it's gonna be, so I don't wanna be so heavy handed to start with. <laughs> like bronzer uh, it, there's not like chunks of glitter you know when you get some and it's like you can just see the glitter on your face i can't see that with this like it's definitely a buildable bronzer it's not bad for two quid like i said i couldn't find a contour powder so i'm not gonna be able to do that so i'm just gonna move straight to blusher so this is the blush high pigmented blusher it was one pound fifty and i got it in the shade rose wood this is a matte blush there is no glitter or tobacco or anything on this one Oh god, it's very very pigmented so uh, keep that in mind. See, so yeah, I literally just dipped in it once and there was like so much colour on my brush. I mean I like the colour, you just gotta have such a light hand with it because yeah I wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented. I'm gonna move on to the eyes now. I totally forgot to pick up an eyebrow product so I'm just gonna use what I always use. I never do eyeshadow and I don't know why I decided to do eyeshadow for this video because I can't do it. But I picked up the Nude Addiction, and these are the colours. I mean, if I were to wear eyeshadow, this is what I would go for, because I'm a basic bitch. I don't know how to do this. I don't know the technical words of, like, if you put this in here and you put this there. I, I, don't, I don't know the technical words. So the first colour I'm going to use is this one, and it's called Dubai. I'm kind of just putting it all over the lid, because I don't know what I'm doing. Blend blend so far there's like no fallout okay um i'm now going to use this one in the crease i don't know um and that is in the shade brownie point that's very pigmented i literally only like dabbed it in and so much color has come off i really wish i knew how to do um makeup and just in like the middle part to try and warm this up i'm going to use the middle shade that is golden and hope Hope for the best. And again, I've had like no fallout. I guess in the middle, like in the inner corner, I'm going to use it's called Moon Dust, which is uh, this one here. That would be actually a nice highlighter, I think. Yeah, let's ignore the fact that Jasmine doesn't know how to do eyeshadow, shall we? The product as a whole, it's not bad. It's pigmented, no fallout. But yeah, not a bad palette to be fair. Mascara. I got the Aquilash Waterproof Mascara. This is in the shade black and it was £2.50. I really like the lip bottle of this because it's got like water droplets. I guess I say that it's waterproof. I don't know, that's like a cute little touch. It's a big wand. Uh, I can already tell you that this is going to do nothing for my lashes because I literally have none because they're all stubby and broken due to having lash extensions. Oh god, it seems really like watery. And now look, can you see it's dropped because it's so watery. I've got freckles now of mascara. Can you hear that? why is it so liquidy so as you can see can you see the dots that have now come onto my face that's due to the product literally being so liquidy that i do this and like it just drips and it flings down even though i'm taking off the excess like it's just 
giving me freckles now. Yeah, I don't like this mascara at all. Okay, now how am I gonna get these little dots off? They're taking forever to dry. Okay, I'm gonna have to obviously wait for these to dry to pick them off. Okay, so for highlighter, I got the Ultra Glow Highlighter Powder. I got it the shade Brunch Club, and this cost £3. Look at that. That just looks so nice. The minute I saw it, I was like, it looked so wet, and I love that look, like the wet look. Ooh. That is so nice. Like, can you see that? And that's not, like, that's just dry. That is so such a nice highlighter is literally going to be my new favorite highlighter okay let's move on to the lips so i got the pink edit lip contour it comes with two liquid matte lipsticks and a lip liner i'll be honest i kind of wish that it had like one lipstick liquid lipstick one liner and a gloss i've heard people rave about primark's lip liners before so i have high hopes Ooh, it's so creamy and it went on so nicely. Lip liner's decent. It was creamy, it went on so smooth. There's nothing I hate worse than like a lip liner that's so tuggy. Like, nobody wants that. Oh, it's contour, isn't it? So I'm assuming I put this on and then I put the lighter one in the middle. Although it's matte, it doesn't feel drying, which is nice. It does remind me much of the, those knit butter matte things, cream things. It does remind me a lot of that, like that kind of feel. Okay, now let's put on the lighter one in the middle. Again, it's the same kind of consistency as the other one. I am just making it so much worse how can i fix this i don't know how to fix this i haven't worn mascara in so long okay so that is my full face of primark makeup first impressions i'll be honest the only things i like is the highlighter and the lip products apart from that not really a fan of anything else i'll be honest the foundation isn't actually that bad yeah so far i mean obviously it's just been on for a few minutes but I don't really mind the foundation I kind of like how it looks now and I don't really mind the bronzer either I mean to be fair apart from the concealer don't really like that didn't cover much um and the mascara because why was that so liquidy and going all over my face I don't know but yeah I would definitely recommend that highlight though like <gasps> It's definitely going to be my new favourite thing. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if there is any other brands or products that you would like me to try, let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Bye!